I think plus 150 on the Red Sox is a really good price for, uh, it's not a coin flip, but it's a three-game series. You only have to win three. Um, you know, you're going to get a sale start. You're going to get an Evaldi start. Uh, that Rays lineup, the OPS is not there. I know they score runs like crazy, but uh, but it has to matter that that lineup is not as good as the Red Sox lineup. The Giants are plus 135. <laughs> and so even though... I'm sure, I'm sure I'll keep losing by changing horses in midstream. But no one was the giant killer that Max Muncy was. Muncy destroyed the Giants this year. And I mean, watching that game against the Cardinals, that's a chasm in that lineup. That guy mm -hmm. is hard to replace. So if you're talking about a Dodger team without its best hitter uh, against a giant team that we really don't know how they did it, but another coin flip, but you're getting plus 135. That's a nice return. So I like the underdog in those two series, Sox, Rays, Giants, Dodgers. The Bears are going to get crushed in Vegas. Like hmm. that, that, that five and a half is too low. David Montgomery's a good running back. That's a big loss for the Bears. So you have, you have a quarterback who got sacked nine times. The one thing the Raiders do pretty well is get after the quarterback. You have a, a quarterback who got sacked nine times against the Browns when they had Montgomery. So so this feels like the first week the Vegas is going to put the 60 minutes together in a, in a whipping of, of the lowly Bears. I really like Green Bay going into Queen City. They're giving three points to the Bungles. The total on that one's 50 and a half. I'm going to take the Packers in that one. They should uh, win that with ease, I think, especially with Joe Mixon a little banged up. The Panthers are giving only three points to the Eagles, who are an unimpressive team. Carolina has a devastating pass rush. As we know now, they're loaded with DBs. I, with confidence, say uh, take the Panthers at home. The thing that I really like with this Chargers team and have been pointing to for quite some time is the defense. That's the difference maker. I think this game goes under the 46 and a half, by the way, but I'll take the Chargers at home.